Well, it was a nice to see you. See you tomorrow. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Please <laughs> don't break my heart, my friend. Thank you guys for waiting for me. I'm back. I'm back. Man, there was a blackout out of the blue, you know. Is it raining in your area? No, that's why I'm telling you, just out of the blue. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, uh, if it were raining, I would understand it. Sometimes it happens, right? Mm -hmm. But in this moment, no, just let me check on something. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's continue. I still got some minutes to talk. Let's see, who are we going to talk to? Hey, Marcos, how are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, fine. <clears throat> fine, just fine. Relaxing a little bit. Okay, that's nice. And you? Tell me, what time did you finish working today? Uh, can, can you repeat the question, please? Oh, how was your day? What time did you finish working today? Ah, what time? Oh, in 5 p.m. Okay, yeah. and what about the time of your arrival home? What time did you get home? Mm, <laughs> very, very fast because I work from home. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> so that means that you didn't have no problem at all. You just finish and relax. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes um, if I have uh, one hour, I try to do some exercise to do some workout here in my house. And then I uh, go to to take my, my, my father to, to the house. Yeah. OK. And, uh, it's, it's kind of relaxing too, because I go in the motorcycle, um, but also it's danger or risk, uh, risk a little bit risky, because in that hour <clears throat> between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m., is uh, there are a lot of traffic, so I have to be careful with, with people, crazy people that wants to, to arrive fast to their house, so uh, it's, it's a little bit relaxing to me. But yeah. this day was this day was 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 slow, was easy. Okay, Everything. well that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check on some. I hope tomorrow. I hope tomorrow will be more. I hope tomorrow will be more fun <laughs> to me. Because these days are being so <clears throat> slow. Okay, well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Thank you very much, Marcos, and welcome. Okay, you let's see. Thanks. Who was I going to talk to? Roxana. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Hi, good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, well, tell me, what about you? What's new? Well, the new is that uh, tomorrow I need to start my closing. So today was a um, hard day, checking a lot, a lot of report and send a lot of email about that. And, you know, sending, I was checking, sending. sending. Checking and sending some emails. Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember something. What I wanted to point out is this: the fact that you started using the the gerund. You started by saying checking. So therefore, you need to use uh, to continue. If you are enumerating the, the 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 actions you did, you need to keep on using the gerund: checking, practicing, studying. Okay. 
Okay. So you've been so, busy today. Finally, yeah. that's cool. Always. Actually, I think that this um, moment, the sales are slowly, slow. slow. Because, yeah, slow, because I don't have a lot of requirement about uh, sales person. In the cases of, in the cases in the email are a few. But in general, uh, for me, this week this week is very hard because I need to close in my my commissions, and I need to send in some uh, reports and ask for oh, the you, payment. You are you are in charge of uh, getting the payment for the yes. for the sellers, right? Yes. So today it was a productive day. But it's not so hard than the next days. Okay. Productive. 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 Like that. Perfect. Thank you, Roxana. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's start. Let's start. Welcome, everyone. Uh, but we need to. Oh, oh, oh. We need to. Keep on practicing and let's see. Now I got a question that we are going to you're going to ask each other. We're gonna be working well today. We're gonna have in a conversation, then we're gonna work with the manual, little thing with the manual. And let's see, then another conversation, then grammar. We're gonna check a grammar point. Uh, easy one. Pretty easy, nothing to worry about. And then again, oh, then comes Heidi's presentation. She's ready and eager to do the presentation, you know. At the end, teacher, don't be cruel. She's excited to do the <laughs> to do her presentation. And that's why we are going to let her relax. She's gonna be the last of the things. Don't worry, Heidi, you're not gonna be at the end. Okay, let's see. For the ones who connected just today to the class, and uh, I'm going to be assigning you one day that you are going to prepare a presentation, any topic, any topic that you want, you will have five minutes to talk to us, to tell us about something. Any given topic is up to you, okay? And you will have time to check out your classmates' uh, jobs that's cool because you're going to get uh, more material and Heidi was jumping yesterday like I want to be first I want to be first that's why she's first today but let's yeah, see right. <laughs> let's see guys you got a question right now and the question is very simple have you ever cried when watching a movie if yes which one that question you are going to be discussing with your classmates it's an easy question very easy okay i know that some of you have done it some of you have cried with a movie some of you perhaps haven't but we are going to talk about and you're going to tell your classmate which movie and why what's the scene what was the moment that really makes you made you feel something okay i want you to talk about it you will have uh, seven minutes for the activity. Groups are open, let me see. Please jump in.
So, uh, uh, this guy uh, it was a professor. So, at some uh, point in the movie, he died. So, his dog waiting for him always at the train station. So, uh, this movie is, is, is a case from the real life. And actually, I can remember in which country, but uh, in this country, the people uh, um, built a, a statue. statue, yeah, of Hachiko, because his owner died and the doll always waiting for him at the train station. So in the movie, when, when I saw that, that well, the dog uh, does, doesn't, do, or, or don't. Didn't. The dog, well, he, he, he can't understand that, that, that his owner is dead. Oh, so he doesn't, doesn't. He doesn't, right? He doesn't yeah. understand the, the situation, you know, because he, at, uh, because his instinct, you know, so uh, every day he he wait for this guy at the train station, and everybody in the movie was like, "Oh, poor dog, poor dog," because the man never never came back because he's dead. So I cried like a baby with this movie. I saw this movie a lot of times and always cried like a baby. <laughs> I know the, how the movie uh, ends, but uh, you know, always touch my heart because I don't know, I love puppies and dogs and I don't know, but that's the movie that made me cry always. Okay. Okay, I just got a word for you, uh, Eliana. Okay. And it's this, uh, it moves me. When you use that it expression, okay. yeah, you're saying the same, that uh, it touches your heart, it moves me. You got it? Okay. Yeah, got it. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Juan Carlos? Have you ever cried uh, watching this. a movie? Uh, while to be honest, while watching a movie. Yes, to be honest, I, I used to. Uh, sorry, teacher. How can I say yo suelo? Because uh, I usually, I usually, right? I usually cry when seeing movies or anime in uh, emotional. Uh, parts i don't know why but it's like uh my person is yes <laughs> and in those uh, situations I, i'm feeling like i'm the protagonist and oh, living those oh, 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 oh. experiences so uh, i'm sorry i got an expression for you i relate oh. to the character I relate. When you say oh. I relate, you mean that you identify with some of the attitudes or situations or something. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Yes. So <laughs> uh, to me, it's a little like uh, embarrassed. Uh, that that part of me because I don't like uh, other people uh, look at me crying, right? <laughs> But uh, I try to, when I'm uh, surrounded of people, uh, like uh, close my eyes quickly. <laughs> oh, sorry, blinking, blink my eyes, right? Yeah. That's the correct way. Uh -huh. But yes, that's my answer. <laughs> and what about you, Marcos? <laughs> okay, um, I have one movie that makes me feel melancholy. Perhaps not at uh, the point of cry, but 
Uh, yes, it, it feels so so sad. I feel so sad when I watch it. Uh, mostly in the end because the end is so so sad. It's called um, artificial intelligence. Something like that. Uh, it's about um, um, uh, one guy that. Oh, I don't yeah, remember, but... the little of oh, the little boy. Yeah. Oh at the my end, god, that the movie end, is so sad. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the, the uh, protagonist uh, spent a lot of time doing, uh, trying to 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 revive or bring back to to. <laughs> To life. Bring back to life. Yeah, I'm back to life. Uh, the child, one or no, the mother, the mother of the child. Yeah, uh, the uh, at the end, the, the the little kid spent one day with with his mother. And when the when this day ends, uh, yeah, ends the movie. <laughs> so that end is so sad. Uh, yeah. Then. So that means, guys, that you are gonna hate me, cause okay. I I am of the ones who never cries. Never, <laughs> like never, oh, never, well, never, never in your life, never, never. Yeah, when I was like 12, 13, I remember I cried. Mm, but well, but you cried. Oh, since then, <laughs> no more. Really? Yeah. Not my thing. But actually, why? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, uh, I'm you not able place to place yourself. Oh. <laughs> I, I can feel, but I'm not able to. So, I mean, even if I want to, to uh, uh, it sounds weird or perhaps stupid, but. I forgot how to cry. I mean, sometimes I have gone through difficult situations in my life, and but uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't come. It doesn't come out. So I don't. I enjoy movies, but some movies are okay for me, you know. But when they get to those situations that are too tender and stuff like that, I'm like, please, please. Let it pass. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it's something that uh, the problem is that I cannot relate. I don't feel it sometimes. So, I mean, that thing of empathy doesn't work that well with me. That's the problem. Because you need to, to feel, you need to be pretty, pretty empathic in order to, to, to relate to those situations, to feel it. and. And, and to show that. your emotions, right? Right. And uh, and I'm not that good at that. I mean, I can feel, but I cannot uh, place myself in those situations. So, uh, well, I'm not that normal. I guess that's the problem. You know. <laughs> Let me go check another group, guys. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hey, let's see which movie makes you cry, guys. <laughs> Danny hey. and I, we cried. Heidi never cried. <laughs> okay, Heidi, you're one of mine. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, That's not Danny a and I, we cry watching uh, dogs' movies. Yeah. Say what? Yeah. I'm, you, I'm you a dog lover. Uh, I don't usually, I mean, I don't cry, I never cry, but I think I have been closer to crying while reading a book rather than while watching a movie. <laughs> really? I recommend to you to watch this one. Uh, the name in English is uh, A Dog's Purpose. In Spanish, was La Razón de Estar Contigo, but uh, that's a beautiful movie. It has part one and... But is it about what? It's about a dog that is 
By the way, how do you say uh, the dog is uh, reincarnate in otro, in otro perro? Siempre. Oh, I know which one. Yeah, reincarnate. Yeah, I know which one. Yeah, I've seen it. Ah, yeah, okay. I've seen it. Don't worry. I have seen it. I have watched the movie. Okay, I was... I, I, I didn't I was, cry. It didn't affect me at all. <laughs> I, uh, coming from you, I, I just imagine. <laughs> That's yeah. normal. Yeah, no like no like hard. Maybe that <laughs> happens to me because when I I watch that movie, uh, my dog uh, was uh, recently died. She recently died at that time. Maybe I guess it was. Uh, and that's uh, why it was like... touching for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Was yeah, no, actually, you know, I'm not. I'm. I'm not that cold but yeah in a way in a way i am mm. and have you been yeah. crying even for happiness for the movie not for sadness i haven't cried not even for friends or for you who have died neither for the pain on your body <laughs> no as i told you not even when uh when uh, one of my relatives have died i mean oh really Yep, the problem is that uh, I'm not able to. I feel, but I'm not able to. I cannot oh. shed tears out of okay. pain or happiness. Oh, okay. I think I I forgot how to do it. So but I feel know, the they pain, say that but if you don't it doesn't, cry, it's not good for your he health. doesn't have tears. He doesn't yeah, have I know, tears. In I know body. that it's not good. I know that it's not good, but mm -hmm. I don't do it. He buried. He buried he, he but her body can produce tears. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's swept instead of uh, tears. Her body, uh, his body, sweat, sudar, verdad? Sweat. Sweat. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sweat, sweat. No, it's just sweat. that, you know, I just don't. Never feel like. Mm, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, not being normal does that to you. Let's go back to the main room. <laughs>
uh, a lot of movies. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, no matter if the movie is uh, with real people or cartoon movies, but is the if the movie is emotional, I used to cry. Uh, for example, oh, I cry with uh, Perfect World. It's a movie with Kevin Costner. It's an old movie. Yeah, don't remember it. Beautiful, <laughs> with a kid. Yeah, so sad, so sad. The mm. end of the, of the movie. And Bajo la misma estrella, I don't, I don't know the name in, in English. Bajo la misma estrella. Not even an idea no. what's that. Really nice, <laughs> really nice movie. Yeah, it's a really nice. And the book is awesome. Oh contigo. Yes, Man, that's the same things, for me. <laughs> At those those things. Those things look like if they are pretty sad. Oh, I know which when you were talking about. I remember Bajo la misma estrella. Yeah, it's a it's a girl who's got the uh, cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Her, I saw her it. You know, died. Yeah, I saw it. I was falling asleep on that. Not really my thing. Not really my thing. <laughs> so Heidi, Heidi, Heidi please say me. Uh, I that one, you know, I have used it, I have used it for classes. But to be honest with you. There are certain parts of that movie that I enjoy, but are not the sad ones. Are the there's one scene that it's lovely for me when the guy asks, uh, he's looking for a job, I guess, and he asks another guy, "What's your political inclination?" And the other guy tells his skills, and uh, he's he tells of his skills, uh, Adolf Benito, behave. I remember that scene. It's beautiful beautiful scene but the sad ones uh, not really my thing so Heidi say me please I don't like uh, uh, movies that don't have a happy ending I don't <laughs> like you don't like them no it's it's uh, I can't I can't accept that you go to the movies to have fun and then you come out crying how come I don't accept <laughs> You're just, just so let lovely. Them let you down? Come on. I don't like movies without happy ending. I'm sorry. Okay, you know, I have <laughs> never, never, never encountered a person with that point of view. It's quite interesting. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Yeah, you know, it's it's point of view. That's like taste. Everybody's got their own. No, and it's interesting. In my case, uh, it is perhaps of the type of movies that I like. In my mm -hmm. case, I like thrillers. So thrillers don't usually have that type of scenes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like uh, into that. And besides that, I uh, I am very cold for those situations. I mean, I don't I don't usually cry. I don't really cry at all. And in my house, my wife she loves to watch them type of movies, and then she goes like, "Don't you feel it?" And I'm like, "No." Nope. Doesn't it make you sad? And I'm like, no. Yeah, and I was telling her, I remember I was talking to, to Dan, I don't know who else was in the group, that I have been closer to feel something like crying while reading a book uh, rather than when watching a movie. Really? Yeah. Yeah, to be That's honest with you. Imagination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing. My imagination flies when I when mm -hmm. I'm reading, so it moves me more. That's okay. Uh, as I told you, uh, as I told you at the beginning, everybody's got their own point of view. In my case, that's what works for me. Okay, guys, nice activity actually. I was talking with a couple of groups, and it was quite interesting. Now, let's see, uh, let me get the attendance and we're going to move uh, 
to advance with another activity, which is Heidi's presentation. But first, let me get the attendance. So Heidi, please start getting ready. Okay, and here we go. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Macía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Juliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Maña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okie dokie. Let's see. Um, Heidi, five minutes for you. Mm -hmm. I read your microphone. Uh, can you enable me to screen sharing, please? I'm disabled. It says Hold host on. table yes. participant screen sharing. This is host what? It says host disabled participant screen sharing. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got us a problem right here. What we could do is that perhaps if you send it to me. I can send it to you by email. Yeah, sure. Second. If she's not a host, I, I, I think that she cannot share. Yeah, yeah and we got a problem with that because of the recording. There you go, my email. Okay. Well, she sent it, we're going to move it. Uh, in 10 minutes, Heidi. I will advance checking something, uh, I mean, explaining something, and then we can, we're gonna come back to you, okay? Okay, but I'm, I'm almost sending it. Let's see. Oh. It has gone. It's gone. The problem is that it, it hasn't come. Okay. It hasn't arrived yet. Okay, let me see which. Yeah. Okay, got it. Second. I 
it's loading. Okay. Okay, my dear, you got five minutes and your time starts right about uh, now. Okay, good evening, everyone. You know, they say your smile is your logo. Your personality is your business card and how you leave others feeling after an experience with you becomes your trademark. Next teacher, please. Tonight we are going to talk about your person, how your personality is influenced by the day of the week you were born. There's a request for this presentation. Please guys, find out on what day of the week you were born. And even if you're curious about your boyfriend, girlfriend, father, mother, you can find out too. Uh, well, I was born on a Monday. Okay, next, please, teacher. Next page, please. As a background, I can say personality is influenced by many things. We don't know the specific reason. We cannot ensure it's only genetic because some of us are so different from our siblings and even our parents. An explanation could be our zodiac, specifically the day of the week we were born. Names of the days of the week. The days of the names of the week were named corresponding to the seven visible celestial bodies, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. These celestial bodies are what make up our zodiac signs and effects and affects us on a daily basis. The day we were born on has a ruling planet, making a part of your character the same way our zodiac does. Uh, Monday, the Monday, people born on Mondays are sensitive, moody, intuitive, emotional, and romantic people. They love being at home, prefer feeling of security and consistency, and have an, an intuitive grasp of carving out their own territory in the world. Tuesday, the day of Mars, the ruling planet of Mars symbolizes a fighting spirit, a desire for independence and obsession with winning. This masculine planet of back brings intensity to whatever it goes, to whatever it goes. People born on Tuesday have strong personalities and are real fighters, fighting even for success, love, or anything really. They don't give up easily. They are active, enthusiastic, energetic, courageous, brave, impatient, sometimes too fiery, destructive, and has a big desire to achieve. Wednesday, the day of Mercury. People born this day will inherit the restless and question questioning qualities associated with this planet are communicative, logical, unreliable, careless, and versatile. These individuals have message to deliver to the rest of us and need to stay on the move. Learn and communicate in order to prosper, are also very smart and have amazing communication skills. In addition, they have workaholic tendencies. Thursday, the day of Jupiter. Thursday people will be jovial, generous, but also have the tendency for self-deception. This is a planet of teaching and will always have a special philosophy to share with the world, family oriented and very generous, honest, freedom loving people. Friday, the day of Venus, Fried their board people are seductive, artistic, and sometimes too dependent on opinions of other people. Lazy and vain. This child needs to be surrounded by beauty and love, or their talent might remain hidden from the world and their jobs subdued are harmonious people destined to art, fashion, and creativity and have weakness for luxury. Saturday. Saturday born people are wise, 
professional, practical, strict, and suspicious, with a tendency to put their head through a wall when they want something badly are typical individuals and prefer to be alone, but have a great organization skills. And finally, Sunday, the Sun's Day. Viewed as the first day of the week, Sunday is a day of the rest of worship. The sun is the most consistent measure of time in the zodiac. The sun visits the same spot that it occupies at the moment of your birth. This consistency is the basis of our calendar and many other divisions of time. Ruled by the sun, burnt people have bright auras and magnetic personalities. Sunday's child is creative, novel, proud, self-centered, bold, and loud. What do you think of this? Do you agree or disagree? Okay. Oh my gosh. Finally. I agree. <laughs> awesome. Do you agree? <laughs> really? I, were, I was born in the wrong day. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Was born on Wednesday. And it's, yeah. it's really. I was born on yeah, Sunday. But, but you I know, you know that's a problem. I was born on Monday. Really? Sensitive, moody. Romantic, <laughs> emotional, <laughs> romantic, romantic, loving at mm. home. Are you sure you were born in the teacher? All of the clients. Feeling of security. You are the exception to the rule. And consistency. <laughs> and have an intuitive grasp of carving now their own territory in the world. Man, that ain't me <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's like you're a unique teacher. Yeah, no, actually, you know, when you were, uh, uh, okay. You sure you were born on Monday? <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, maybe that's what certain of the, uh -huh, certain maybe that of the aspects, told you. <laughs> certain of the aspects that I identify myself are on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yeah, workaholic. Exactly. I was born in a, on a Wednesday. A little bit unreliable sometimes. <laughs> a little bit careless. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> but but Sorry, you know, you... Monday, oh my gosh. Just the part of sensitive, you got me like, no, damn, that's <laughs> not me. Heidi, would you mind me sharing the presentation in the WhatsApp group with your classmates? Sure. I made a little mistake. I couldn't correct because uh, I your faces. at the end, but it's okay. Okay, let me get it. Oh. I did, uh, did you born Monday or? Which Where are you I born? born on, I was born on Friday. Oh, mm -hmm. I, okay. Okay, guys, just give me. You know something I, I was really thinking, hey, what can I talk about? What can I talk about to, to your attention, right? Because you guys are young people. So that's why I, maybe I decided this could be fun. Okay, guys. Uh, actually, it's very interesting and you got exactly the five minutes. That's great. You got a typo there and basis and I guess we, right? We, yeah. We. Little thing, just little thing and very nice pronunciation, excellent. And well, wow, you said the ribbon pretty high. Let's see who goes tomorrow according to my notes. Ah, tomorrow is Ana Claudia's. Oh my God, I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. No excuses. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, uh, I need you to please give me just one minute, no more than one minute. I'll be back in a second, please.
Let's see, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay. Well, uh, very well done. Uh, uh, very well done, Heidi. Congratulations. Um, it's very nice. Like it a lot. And well, we'll see. Remember, it's free. You can choose any topic you want. And let's see for tomorrow. I got, uh, I just want to remind you for tomorrow, there's Ana Claudia. And then Juan Carlos on Thursday. Marcos got Friday. Steven got Monday. And on Friday, I'm going to let you know the rest of the ones that are the go next week. Okay. Oh, by the way, just remember that next week we are going to be. We're gonna have one day off. That's uh, the tenth. Oh, you the one that the normal people that rest those days. Uh, resting that day. No yeah, problem. because we say Wilfredo and and also some of us we are going to work. <laughs> yes, teacher. We don't have to have um, any vacation. <laughs> Okay, we're only your teacher. <laughs> you will have a lot of vacation. Man, I'm gonna have the tent. <laughs> oh, come on. What? <laughs> I just coming, I'm just coming out of a vacation. It's been a lot. Okay, guys, let's I continue. remember let's that you continue. told me that you love it. No, I don't. I don't. I don't like vacations. Vacations are not good for business. Yeah, I know, teacher, I know. And besides that, I mean, it's me staying home. That's not cool. Okay, let's continue. Well, 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 well. Right now, we're going to go work on the manual, okay? We're going to have, uh, we're going to check a couple of activities from the manual. Let me get it for you. Okay, the first one, this activity, management, building vocabulary. The following are some of the responsibilities of a manager. You have to label the responsibilities using the right category. Organize, monitor, implement, evaluate, and plan. How are you going to do it? Uh, you're going to do it by working in groups. Okay. You got here, set goals and objectives, develop plans for promotions, and you're going to tell me which one of them applies for this one. So you're gonna label each one of them. Now, I'm gonna send you the image, the screenshot, uh, so you can work. And let me see. Uh, groups are created already, you can jump in. You're gonna have five minutes for that exercise. Hurry up, because we got more to do. I saw the pop pop, but I yes, think what's wrong? I guess that you removed the invitation, teacher. Uh huh, teacher. I love my invitation. My... Okay, sorry. There you go. Uh, teacher, I that. will switch to my computer right now. So I don't know if I can uh, join to the same uh, group. Room number two, yeah. No problem. I'll send you. Okay. I, I will switch to my computer right now, okay? Okay, no problem.
Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Nobody was at, at my room. Well, according to this, there was a, a, a Roberto list, but don't worry, uh, Alejandro, I'll send you to another group so you can work. Okay. Right now, you got the, your invitation for another group. Thank you. Page 10, exercise five. Okay. Do you have the exercise? Okay. Yes. And you, Roxana? Yes. Okay. Do it, please. <laughs> okay. I'm watching you. <laughs> Set goals and objectives. Develop plans for promotion. What is that? Set goals, organize, monitor, implement, evaluate. Uh, evaluate? No. Or? Uh, the exercise is category. Category say, or classify in, in, the, in the category. Yeah. Communicating plans to employees. Discussing and reporting progress of a strategic plan. Mm. Communicating plans. Monitor. Monitor. We have uh, categories. Organize, monitor, implement, evaluate, and plan. The second, communicating plans to employees and discussing and reporting progress. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe evaluate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, evaluate is, for me, is the four, the four concepts. Develop an evaluation for to assess customer service. The second is monitor. Monitor. Okay. Okay. Number three is plan. For me, plan is set goals and objectives and develop plans for promotion. Okay. Mm. Set goals and objectives. What do you think? Plans, set goals and objectives, develop plans for promotions. It's plan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number two. Communicating plans to employees. Number two for me is implement. Review mm. employees' work in progress on a regular basis. The last one is evaluate, right? Review employees' work in progress on a regular basis. Keep track of what employees do. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you doing? We finished the exercise. You finish? Yeah. Okay, tell me what you got. Um, well, no. Oh, no, that's wrong. What? What? 
<laughs> okay. Um, number one, set goals and objectives, develop plans for promotions. Uh, we think that is plan. Okay, cool. Number two, communicating plans to employees, discussing and reporting progress of an of a strategic plan, organize. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Communicating plans to employees, discussing and reporting progress of a strategic plan, implement. Implement. Okay. Okay, implement number two, okay. And number three we think is evaluate. Prepare staff training manual, create. Prepare staff training manuals, create an employee training program. That's to organize. Remember, create. You're organizing something. Uh, we are wrong. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's normal. Remember, we are working with new vocabulary and new concepts. Yeah. Okay. So, number four must be plan, implement, evaluate. Yep. And the last one, monitor. Yep. Okay. I change the answers. So we have plan, implement, organize, evaluate, and monitor. Exactly that. Okay. Thank you, teacher. See, everybody's coming back about now. Okay, guys, now let's see, let's see. Let's do the exercise. Okay. Check, I just need to put the XCF in here, not there, there. It's here. Then, okay, the first one, set goals and objectives. Develop plans for promotions. Mr. Alejandro Salas, tell me what you got for this one. We got for this one, plan. Okay, we got us here, plan. Perfect, mister. Thank you very much. Now, next one says, communicating plans to employees, discussing and reporting progress of a strategic plan. Okay, who's gonna talk to me here? Fernando, what you got there? We got implement. Okay, perfect. That's to implement. Excellent. 
Next one goes to Maria Alejandra. Please read it. And prepare a staff training. Prepare a staff training manual. Create an employee training program. And organize. Okay, that's to organize. Perfect. That's the one that's to organize. Now let's see. Um, Mr. Roberto Luis. Okay. Jose Wilfredo, what you got? Oh no, Jose Wilfredo has problems with connection. I will just remember. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to train. Okay, what you got in this one? Please uh, read it and tell me the concept. My point of view is plan to train. No, is uh implement. Well, let me one moment. Develop an evaluation form to access customer service, yeah. disciplinary intervention procedures. Uh is a monitor. Monitor? In this case, my friend, I'm sorry. This is to evaluate. Evaluate. Oh, wow. Yeah, I found it. Uh, evaluate. No problem. No problem. Now, let's see. And the last one, please. Roxana, read it. Okay, let me see. Review employees work in process on a regular basis. Keep track of what employees do. Okay, remember regular, regular basis. Regular. Okay. Now guys, we move on. We have to complete the blanks using the verse from the box to describe the competencies of a manager. Well, now what the one that we are going to do is this. I want you to write a short description of your job and then compare it to the responsibilities of your manager. But that's a homework, okay? That's something you're going to do at home. I need it for tomorrow, uh, not that much, okay? 10 lines is more than enough. I mean, if you, 10 sentences, okay? That's what I mean, 10 sentences, not 10 long lines, okay? Just a small paragraph where you tell me what to do and then how different it is from your boss, okay? Something short, I need it consist, but I need it uh, using proper uh, vocabulary and punctuation, please. If you want to do it on a piece of paper and you don't have any means to send it, just take a picture, send it to the to the group, or you can send it to me personal. Please do it and do it before the class. It helps me to help you. Okay. So that's for tomorrow. But teacher, teacher, yeah. Uh, please, can can you repeat uh, what is about the homework? The homework in your manual. Uh, we are talking in page number 10, exercise seven, write a short description of your job and then compare it to the responsibilities of your manager. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, guys, now, Adjective clauses. We're gonna talk about the adjective clauses with who. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. We got us the subject. We got us a relative pronoun. In this case, we're just gonna work with one relative pronoun. And then we have the complement, the verb plus the complement. Like he is the manager who thinks all employees are lazy. The businessman who make decisions unilaterally. The employee who is organizing a training. An adjective clause is also called a relative clause. 
That's why we are talking here about the relative pronoun. Remember, relative pronouns refer to people, animals, and things. Use relative pronouns to provide information about someone or something. And remember that who is used for people. Okay, Mrs. Jenkins is the job applicant who submitted a very interesting cover letter. Now, but there's a couple of stuff that I want to explain to you first. Just look at my kids. Comfortable with your screen. Okay, first, the very first thing. And an adjective close is also called a relative close. Okay, it's a dependent close that modifies a noun or pronoun. Okay, they almost always come right after the nouns they modify. Okay, like. Uh, in, if it, instead of being a person, it was it were an object like there is the mountain that we are going to climb. That, okay? She is the person who I want to invite for lunch. You see? She is the person who I want to invite for lunch. Now, something else that I want to, you to be clear about is when to use who and when to use whom. Let me send you. Do you remember that sometimes we use who? Sorry? Yes, I was about to ask you for whom. Yeah, I was expecting. I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, we got us who and we got us whom. The difference is very simple. Actually, it's not something that complex, okay? You use whom to talk about the person who receives the action. And you use who to talk about a person who is making the action, okay? Like, uh, she is the person uh, with whom I'm going to work. Okay, she's the person who's going to work in the project. You see the difference? In the second one, when I say she's the person who is going to work in the project, she's uh, performing the action. And the first one is different. So that's the difference between who and whom. So, uh, I mean, it can be more complicated explanation because as always, when we are talking languages, we got variations and stuff, but right now we are not going to get into that. This is not a grammar class. I needed to get the, the, the tools for, that are going to help you to communicate. So let's go back. Remember, we are talking about uh, additive clauses, okay? Now, remember, when we are talking about a clause, we are talking about a sentence. It can be independent or dependent. In this case, if you remember, we are talking about dependent clauses. Okay? They cannot exist alone. Why not? Because they they fulfill a function. In this case, it is describing a person. Remember that who is used for person only for people. Okay, that is also used for people, but it can also be used for animals stuff. In the case of who and whom, they are used only when referring to person. Any question up to that? Sure, pretty sure. Okay, that's nice because we are going to make an exercise. Which is the exercise? Let me show it to you. Okay, 
Yes. In page, in your manuals, in page number 12, exercise 5, you get here. Write sentences using the relative pronoun who. Add the missing words and conjugate the verbs correctly. Okay? Now, I'm going to send you the groups. I'm going to send you the screenshot so you can solve it. You will have five minutes to perform this activity. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. Sorry, my brain was restarting again. And you send you the groups. Can be five minutes. By sending you so. The who? Why send the submission the relative pronoun who? And the missing word and they conjugate the pairs correctly. The present someone in a technical plan. Present is someone. Who is the company? The family. Let's see. Uh, I think the, the, the second uh, is premium user are mm -hmm. uh, premium users are people who people who uh, you can say yeah. who have upgraded or you can say who upgraded who well, upgraded yeah you can say who upgraded or you can say who have upgraded to platinum services. Who oh, have, okay. Okay. Who oh, have.
see Suleyma. We're just going to wait for everybody to come back. A little bit tired, right? I can imagine, man. It's your first day of class. You are like, oh, man, I want this to end. I need to finish. Yeah, you know, some days are like that for me. Like tonight, I don't know why I'm kind of sleepy. And that's weird because usually I go to sleep around, what, 1 or 2 a.m. There's Marcos, there's everybody. Okay, guys. Let's see, let's do something. Because I know that some of you are looking at me like, man, it's late. Wanna go sleep? Okay, guys, let me do a little something. Okay, well, the first one is there, right? The president is someone who leads the company. Let's do something. What about if I tell you, I will read you the sentences and you are going to be checking out if it's correct or incorrect the way you did it, okay? Yes. Number two, premium users are people who, in this case, you got two options. You can say who upgraded to platinum services or who have upgraded to platinum services. It will depend on context. Because remember, we are expressing two different ideas. If you say who upgraded to platinum services, or if you say who have upgraded to platinum services. Number three, an autocratic manager is someone who makes decisions alone. Yes, I got it in that word. Yep. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Next one, Cha chaotic managers are people who give total control to their subordinates yes yeah. that's not correct to do that right number five a ceo is an important person who makes major corporate decisions you repeat that please uh, CEO. A, a, a CEO is an important person who makes major corporate decisions. Okay, thank you. No problem. Number six, a general contractor is an employee who provides materials for labor. Got it, guys? Yeah, teacher, got it. Perfect. Sorry, yes, tell me. Just uh, while I'm doing this, uh, like setting these answers on this uh, homework, uh, the system uh, showed me like an error on all the sentences. Because so, you have to add the, the period at the, the end. period at the end of the, the uppercase at the beginning. Uppercase at the beginning, period at the end. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you repeat the last one, please? A general contractor? is an employee who provides materials for labor. A general contractor is an employee who provides materials for labor. Materials. Total. I got them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so you're solving you're solving on the platform at the same time. Of That's course. Cool. All of you. All of <laughs> we are doing all of this together with you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Teacher. That's why you were so happy of me reading the sentences, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you, teacher. You are so tricky, guys. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I mean, if you can advance, I'm happy. Okay, guys, let me get the final attendance because I know you want to go rest. It's been a long day. 
And let's see, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Benny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Eugenia Salguero de, Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Present. Elena Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irina Susana Cuellar Aldanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Fumaña Orellana. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. And Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Hey guys, thank you very much. You've been pretty patient. See you tomorrow. Don't forget the homework. You need to write. Send it to me. Okay? Have a good one. Enjoy it. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Uh, teacher, could we yeah. only check uh, two sentences, please, uh, of the platform? Maybe you are quite fast. Tell me the section. Uh, section 1.3. Mm -hmm. I was doing that part and I got an uh, uh, error. What? Which For one? the first one that says a general contractor is an employee who provides materials for labor. Okay, and the I... only uh yeah, but you got it right. Yeah, I made with a capital A and then with a period that at the end. But when I submitted the, the, the answer, I got a mistake. If you want, I can share with you one step. Look in the chat. What is the other one? And the other one is the third one. An autocratic. Yeah, autom autocratic manager is someone who makes Decision alone, figure that the end and with capital A. But you got, you got uh, two options. Check them out and because now the system in this exercise is recognizing if you use the capital or not. Yeah. I will paste what the sentence that you shared in the shot, let me one moment. I will submit it again, but it's still marking like, like wrong. Let's see. I don't know if someone else has the same issue. 
Ah, Léo, meu amado. É meu amado. I just copied the system didn't the let the computer. Oh, the previous one. Yeah. yeah. One moment, teacher. Oh, no, no, for me, it's not a problem. Ileana is waiting because yes. we're going to talk. Okay, and uh, I got the same. Way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for delay, but I don't know why. Copy all the sentence at the same time. Give me one moment and then play around. Ah, okay. Just one moment, Ileana. I'm sorry for the delay. No, it's okay. Don't worry. That's okay. She's asleep already. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. The first one. Okay. Let me add the last one, please. Just one moment. There you go, teacher. Thank you for your okay. time. No Thank problem. you, Eliana, too. Have a, a good night. Hey, good night, Jose Rufel. You take care. You too. Okay. Thank to you. Care, take care. Bye. So, Miss Eliana, hello, how are you? Mm. I'm fine. Sleep, you go like sleep. You want to sleep. Stop yeah, talking. yeah, but I want, I have to do my skincare routine, so I can oh sleep like. Goodness. Yeah. My skincare routine is get a bar of soap, <laughs> brass it over my face. No. Easy, easy. No, actually, in the morning, I I need to apply a. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, Sunblock. The what? Sunblock. Oh, okay. Now yes. today, well, today is not just wash my face. I have to, today is exfoliate day. So I have to put this product that is called beta granulos in my fingers and, and I have to wash my face like for three or five minutes, making like circular moves in my face, you know. That's and engineering that, for me. <laughs> I just uh, uh, wash my face water. And after that, I have to, 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 to put my, my, Mm, cremas, cream, creams. Cream, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot of it's work. Are like two or three creams today. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But tell well, me let's see. <laughs> well, let's see. Right now we are right at the beginning of the course, so I guess uh, you don't have that many questions, right? But now I want to ask right. you, do you remember last time I gave you some info? Have you practiced, checked it or something? Not really. No. Uh, yeah. I remember that you shared with me some listening. Didn't. Yeah. Practice uh, before, after that, and just once to be on. Just once, yeah. Ileana, you are giving me here. Okay, now let's do something. Do you think you are able to practice at least once a day, four or five minutes? Yeah. Hello. Uh, Hello? Hello? Now I hear you. Now no. I can hear okay. you. I lost you a few seconds ago too. Could 
Okay, no. Again, what I was telling you is this: that do you think you can you are able to practice just like for three or four minutes daily? Daily, yeah, and I can do some some minutes, yeah. Okay, then hold on. Let's see, let's see, second. I'm not sure if it's this the one that I gave you. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No. Okay. Then there you got a lot. Pretty short. I want you to practice. Practice a couple. Okay. Oh. There's no. videos. Okay, teacher. I'll do it. This case, I promise. In this case, you get you get different options because I mean you can see the video activity, you can watch the video, then you have a uh, like three or four questions, and you have extra information. You can also have the video script. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can check out if you really listen what you were listening. So do it, check it out uh, at least a couple of times and let me know if it's working for you. Let me know if you have any question related to it. Okay. Is that okay for you? I, I'll do it. Yeah. Perfect. Well, my dear. <laughs> okay, teacher, thank you. I will have yeah. I will have more time for you actually because I I got like uh, five extra days. So if you need any help any given day, just let me know and I can program you. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. No, always a pleasure. Have a good night. Good night. I sleep well. See you tomorrow. See ya. Well, I guess it's time. So we're gonna put it right now. See you tomorrow.